Hello everyone and welcome back to my lifestyle and dating podcast. You guys have been loving my previous episodes so I'm here with a new one. If you would like to see the rest of my dating episodes everything is linked down below so you can go ahead and check it out but let's get into this video. I was seeing a guy and let's call him Charlie. I was introduced to Charlie by my mutual friends. I think that they had an idea of how horrible of a person Charlie was but they probably just really did know the extent of it. Nonetheless, I met Charlie and I really liked Charlie. He was not my usual type, like I would not have given him a second glance if I saw him regularly but as we started to talk, I really started liking him and let me just say that Charlie was the one who actually pursued me, who started saying he had feelings for me and it was not me because if you guys know I am literally so emotionally unavailable it's not even a joke at this point. So Charlie was the one who was making all the moves and I just found myself falling for him. I really did like him and for the first time in over a decade I actually started having like serious feelings for somebody and I started to actually open up and communicate something that I was so horrible with in the past and it's because I felt really safe around Charlie. He made me feel like if I could trust him with anything I felt like if I could trust him he would always let me know his whereabouts, he would call me all the time, we would like stay up on the phone like 15 year olds every single night and we would talk and fall asleep on the phone. I never had an instant that anything was wrong with Charlie like let me just put that out here like I was so happy my friends were so happy they were like finally oh my god after all these shit relationships she finally has someone really good and I was like oh my god you guys like I think that this could be it like I think that Charlie could be my person we were so in sync like we were the same person to an extent and it was like I just I never experienced anything like that before everyone was happy for me Charlie was not a social media person so he really didn't know about my life he didn't know what social media really was and like the power that social media has and I I would make these jokes like telling him about past guys I was with who were like cheated on me and I found out through social media and I was like you know I just have to post one thing and I know that somebody is going to see it and tell me. Honestly I don't think he fully understand or grasped what it was like to have a platform like like I did and he probably thought I was joking so I told myself I wanted to keep Charlie like private I was so public with everything in the past and I was just like oh my goodness let me just keep this to myself. But even though I didn't post Charlie, I would post little things like myself wearing his t-shirt or like piece of his pants if we were sitting down. You guys are not going to believe what completely blew this over the top. Like you would die. So Charlie and I would go boxing classes together. Let's just call it that because I don't want to get into like the nitty gritties of it. But let's pretend we went boxing together. It was like a workout class we did or something like that. Now this part is important. At my workout class there was another guy and his name was Emil. I personally think that Emil was talking slack about me because a group of people who were Emil's people were constantly accusing me of being with him when he had a girlfriend and they were a hundred thousand percent sure I will insert the receipts right here. They were so sure I was with Emil. They did not know that Charlie was there and they did not know I was with Charlie because I would not be posting who I was with. So I think that they assumed that since Emil and I went boxing together we had something. Now the messages that Emil's people were sending me were very aggressive and very rude and I am literally waiting for my apology and I know that you guys are probably stalking me right now so please DM me with apologies. I would like full written apologies. Deliver it with pigeon mail or something because you guys were so so wrong and so mean and so cruel and such bullies and I don't forgive you for it but I want an apology. <laughs> they were being so aggressive to me all the time but they would say little things like I would be going Starbucks with Emil. You guys if you know me I don't drink Starbucks, I don't go Starbucks, I just I only drink Starbucks if somebody gives it to me and they would say little things like that like oh we know you go Starbucks with Emil on Sundays and I'm like what are they saying? I didn't know it was Emil at the time because they didn't want to tell me the name of the person so I was living in suspense but those little things like the Starbucks things that they were saying and like hinting that I was going to meet Emil I knew that it wasn't Charlie they were talking about and I was like good lord thank the lord it was not Charlie and I was like oh my god for once in my life give me a break god give me a break like just give me a break and I would just be like oh my god okay it's not Charlie I feel like so much better now like I feel so relieved. Here's where everything got really crazy. Once somebody posts something it might be a coincidence like maybe we have the same jerseys. A second time somebody posts something you could probably be like okay that's weird like my guy has the same thing. Now the third time, a fourth time, fifth time somebody posts something you'll be like okay 
she's with my guy. Charlie brought food for me and I posted a picture of my Diwali food. Where is my bindi? Where is my bindi? Because let me tell you, he gave the same exact food to another girl. She saw me post the picture of the Diwali food and after like four or five times of realizing things could not simply be a coincidence, she realized that we have the same exact food. My boy Charlie is dropping food for her as well. Here is the extent. This girl lives an hour away from me. Charlie drove, dropped food for her and came back down, told her he was going to spend the night by his aunt's came by me, spent the night with me, dropped off the food, and all of this time, there was an entire other girl. One night, I was... My phone is ringing. Oh my god, flowers. Okay, thank you. You guys, I'm getting flowers. Like, So how did I find out about the other girl? Let us call her Ashley. One night, Charlie was supposed to come by me, and I told him, come over another time. I was making dinner and I was on Instagram and I opened and I literally have hundreds of requests and DMs. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I don't know why something told me to just open this one. So I did. I opened it and the tone of this message was so different. Receipt here. It was so different to the messages that Emile's group of people were sending me. It was like genuine like something was wrong she had anxiety she didn't know if to message me the tone of that message immediately made my heart lurch because i was like oh no oh no i have been here a thousand times in the last 10 years of being on social media and i was like why i opened it and i was like you need to be upfront with me because emile's people they weren't telling me his name they were literally like you know he has a girlfriend you know he has a girlfriend and I had no idea so I'm waiting for my apology again because I know you're stalking me I was like you know in that moment you literally like praying like god please like please don't let this girl say his name is Charlie but of course she says Charlie and I was like god my boy why <laughs> so I decided to ask her a series of questions because I understand that it could have like some crazy people out there like I know so I asked her really specific questions and I was praying that she would get them wrong. So he just bought a new van. So I asked her what car he was driving, hoping that she would call his old car out and not know about his new van. You know, maybe it was somebody from the past who was just trying to shit me up. I don't know, like I was like praying. And she knew everything. She knew everything in detail. And I literally was like, what the actual F? Like, how could I have missed this? I was devastated is not even the word. I feel like if I was just numb at that point in time, because like, I feel as if I was reliving this for so long. Because I felt like if I learned really hard lessons before, and I don't know why the Lord insists on, <laughs> what? I'm not your strongest soldier anymore, Lord, please. Like, give me a break. So <laughs> I called Charlie immediately. And let me tell you guys something. When a guy uses the words crazy, obsessed, and annoying, he is with that girl. He is a hundred. I am telling you, I have heard this with every single person I was with. He knew what he was doing. He knew that he had this girl in a situationship for two years. He knew what he was doing and he literally pursued me, caught feelings, told me about his feelings, like led me to believe he was sincere and genuine. I call Charlie and he, he says exactly, exactly what I knew he was going to say. He was like, Ashley is so annoying. She is obsessed with him. He has been trying to get rid of her for so long, but she constantly comes back. When he started saying those things, I mean, like I knew it was right because I saw screenshots. I saw like detail upon detail, but like hearing it coming from him, it was just like, you are disgusting. <laughs> he keeps insisting that she is crazy and obsessed with him and he has been trying to get rid of her for months. So the day before, Charlie and I were talking about stuff and he asked me if he thinks that we would be good together. And I said, I mean, I think we would be good together, but I have like a lot of trust issues. And then he gives me a long message, you guys, receipt right here, a long message of that he does nothing. He has never lied to me. So hearing me say that I don't trust him is so disheartening. The same time he was sending Ashley, good night, babe, I love you. 
my mind is like blown. My mind is blown. I literally blocked him immediately because a guy who can lead a double life is never going to change. Like I could tell you a hundred percent, they are never going to change. And if Charlie could have hit a situation ship because he wasn't even with this girl like it was a situation ship she wasted two years of her life with nothing to show and you are not gonna catch me in that bs no way and i feel like if girls need to realize that the guy that they're crying about who's cheating on them and being so ridiculous they're not the only guy in the world and i feel like if i could say this now because i have learned this lesson so many times and i feel like if this was like a test for me to see if i would try to stay and fix things with charlie and make things work and believe that maybe ashley was just like in his way he has been calling us one after the other it's just been like so sick like you guys i can't i li i cannot like this Whoa, I was like, wow, blown away with this whole thing. Like it was a hurtful experience in that I finally was letting my God down. And then somebody was really sending me all these messages, reassuring me constantly that they were honest with me always and open with me. And yet they were, I just, I can't understand how you could write something and then be doing the exact opposite at the same time. Like it, it, I cannot fathom it. I literally blocked him and I will literally never speak to him again or have anything to do with him because he is a liar. He is dishonest. I'm never wasting my time or my life on a guy like that. Somebody who could lead a double life and who could be so dishonest. It just shows character and I'm a firm believer in character. And once you are like that, you are never going to change. And I honestly am so happy that this happened to really make sure I did not stay longer and waste any more of my time or genuinely believe that this person was a good person. I'm so happy that it happened because I mean, I always say the pain that you may feel in a breakup or when things end is never going to compare. It is always going to be way less than the anxiety, the insecurity, the sick feeling, the lies, the just the kind of person that you become when you try to compromise or be with somebody who is a cheater or a liar or just an asshole is just going to put you through way worse things than the pain that you might feel if things end. It literally goes to show you if I had just posted Charlie earlier, just posted a piece of him at any point in time, how much quicker I would have found out. And I'm never going to doubt my platform again because I find out, I find out everything you guys, honestly. Don't ever waste your time, waste your life and get hung up when you can get so many other amazing people in your life. And something really random as well, which I think I wanna say is that I have really good friends. And even though I am not a religious person, my friends pray for me. My friends pray for me in church, in the mosque, they pray for me. And the night before, one of my really good friends, Nadia, she would not mind if I use her name, so hey. She was praying the night before, and I will put it in right here, and she was saying she just was asking God to please, you know, expose this person, expose Charlie, and just show if he has genuine intentions for me. And the next day is when Ashley messaged me. If he could have not hesitated to be with me the night that he met me, and he had her around for two years, that is no kind of person that I ever would be with. There's absolutely no way. Like my friends have like enforced standards upon me and I am definitely never going to settle for that kind of behavior. There is no way you would catch me in a situation where somebody is treating me so horribly and I'm choosing to stay. Absolutely not. Nobody is that good. No man is that good. Literally, absolutely not. If you are in a similar situation, oh my God, please just leave because nothing is going to change. And if anything, you're going to make yourself absolutely go crazy and you're going to find somebody else. Like I promise you, you're going to find somebody else. You may not find the person that you're going to be with for the rest of your life immediately, but you're going to find somebody else and they're going to be better than the other person. So just always remember that, like don't stick around in those situations because it literally will not do you well at all. And you're just going to waste your time and your life. Like you need to make yourself be the number one priority, not these men who you are constantly trying to fix. Because let me just say, you can do so much better with your life and you could be so much happier than settling for the bare minimum. And somebody like Charlie is like not even bare minimum. Like he is just, I have no idea, but 
That is the end of my dating episode for today. Lessons has been learned and I hope that you guys learned something from this. And yeah, it's just rough out here. It is rough out here on the streets. Uh, but anyway, thumbs this video up and subscribe so you wouldn't miss any more episodes and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah.